Like it or loathe it, ChatGPT is everywhere. It took just two months to reach 100 million active users, compared to nine for TikTok and 30 for Instagram, making the generative AI chatbot the fastest growing consumer application in history. We decided to see if it could help individuals on their investment journey, starting with a basic question. What should we invest in in 2023? The chatbot first clarified that it could only provide general investment advice, but went on to explain that a well-diversified investment portfolio would include stocks, bonds and alternative investments, like cryptocurrencies. So would a real-life financial planner agree? That does draw some attention to some of the key risks of investing in those different asset classes, which I liked. It almost suggests that you should have the same allocation to crypto as you should to equities and bonds, which I felt could be extremely confusing and also very dangerous to the end investor. We then tried to prompt it into giving us a more specific answer, asking if it would buy Alphabet stock. Again, it said it would not make predictions about the future performance of any particular stock, but it told us what to consider including financials, industry trends, and leadership. Still, sometimes the catch is in what the AI doesn't say. So are you looking for income or are you looking for capital growth? That certainly should have been a lot more explicit. Um, it doesn't mention the importance of considering your investment time horizon. It's up to users to feed the chatbot with the right prompts. If not, you won't be getting the full picture. We haven't yet figured out, are we prompting the right things? And, and that's something that will be very important when it comes to um, matching, as I say, your investment intentions with the investment recommendations. To try that out, we fed ChatGPT more parameters, asking it to recommend a portfolio for a 40-year-old with three kids, low risk tolerance, and a budget of 100,000 Singapore dollars. We did get a more specific answer. It recommended an allocation of 40% in Singapore government bonds, 25% in dividend stocks, and 20% in fixed deposits, and 10% in REITs, as well as 5% in cash. So some of the things I think it did really well, uh, which would also be advised by a financial planner, um, the asset allocation it recommends between uh, cash, bonds and growth assets being the stocks, I felt was quite reasonable. Still, financial advisors we spoke to say they don't think they'll be out of a job anytime soon. So for example, if you ask, I have $1,000, where should I invest this money? The first questions a financial advisor will ask you is, okay, you know, what, what is this, what do you want to do with this money? What's your, you know, risk preferences? Have you any experience in investing in a bunch of other things? And, you know, the AI, AI may or may not ask you those questions, right? And if, if it doesn't, then you may end up with a, you know, advice that's just not adequate uh, for you as a person. Can AI enhance the investment process? Absolutely. Can it replace the human decision-making? Not yet. Robo-advisors like StashAway already rely on AI to make internal processes more efficient, such as writing drafts of code for engineers. But when it comes to client-facing systems, it says generative AI simply doesn't match up to a human yet. You're dealing with customers' money. Uh, you cannot really afford to have um, you know, a, a slip up and, and a machine giving the incorrect advice to the customer. So we're experimenting very heavily, of course, and this may also, of course, drastically improve over time. But as of today, I think it's still um, a bit of a journey uh, that we need to go first uh, to make sure that we can truly trust uh, the output that comes back from the, from the machine. And that is the biggest issue experts have with using generative AI to assist you with investments. Users must be aware of the potential for incorrect or outdated information, as ChatGPT is trained on data only till the end of 2021. The answer given depends on prompts entered by the user, so key information can be left out. 
The chatbot may also not pick up on a more holistic picture of your financial needs and risk profile. Despite these shortcomings, finance professionals say it will probably be sooner rather than later before AI chatbots become smarter and a bigger part of the individual's investment journey. The investment process is a learning journey and it also requires someone to go from what are my intentions, what are my options, and then to actually get to action. The issues right now is that GBT is not always right. And that room forever is really important when you're talking about someone's hard-earned nest egg. So right now, it's good for the journey, but, but not yet for um, to take it all the way.